Meta is among the biggest pre-market gainers on the S&P. The Journal, as you know, reporting that Facebook's parent is planning to begin large-scale layoffs this week, affecting thousands of employees. A Meta spokesperson declined comment and referred CNBC to Mark Zuckerberg's earnings call remarks last month, in which he said, quote, some teams will grow meaningfully, but most other teams will stay flat or shrink over the next year. In aggregate, we expect as either roughly the same size or even a slightly smaller organization uh, than we are today. Gene Munster, Jim on Squawk, earlier this morning, said he thinks maybe 10 percent may be in the cards. I think that, first of all, this is the worst performing stock in the S&P 500, all 500 of the S&P 500. Yes. Uh, I do think that, that Zuckerberg wants very much to get expenses in line with revenues, which would require even deeper cuts. I, I think that it's going to happen. I, I think that there's actually, to some degree, a concern about what shareholders think. Novel. Not there is? Wait a second. We know that there isn't from what they just decided to do with their last quarterly report, spending at Reality Labs through, as you pointed out, free cash flow. Periodically, there's changes of, of mind. That even do we really company, think this is a change of mind, or is this sort of already established as something, I think as that, something a, that would occur? I, I think that there's some tension between the CFO, who I think got a little blast uh, from some people after that last quarter, and, uh, and Mark Zuckerberg, who I think had been somewhat uh, oblivious. Uh, or no, no, wait, let's just say not oblivious, uh, not concerned. But, Jim, this is important because if this is well, the first sign important. that Zuckerberg is starting to give in, so to speak, and say, OK, I've, I've got to run this once again more for profitability in the near term. Not near term. Over the next year. Over the net, OK, over the, over next, the next year. year. That would seem to indicate then that he's not going to spend it all costs, whatever it is, on the metaverse. Or are we not there yet? I think we're there. You do? Look, I mean, even if you're working in Hawaii full time in Kauai, the big island, you don't oh. surface. I think that there's a moment where you just say, you know what, it's just not a badge of honor to finish 500th. I think our uh, executive producer, Todd Bonin, finished 500th in, <laughs> in the New York City in New Marathon. York City Marathon. Gonna, yeah, we have a in bunch Marathon. of marathons. Yeah, he did like a couple of seven-minute miles. But I don't think that Mark Zuckerberg likes being number 500. I think he feels that that's, that's low on the totem pole. So you think he, he's, he's ashamed by yeah. the performance? I, I think he's that's... aware. He's been made aware. Is he going to take in that $34 billion CapEx? budget for next year? I would think that there will be headcount reductions that are that are more sizable than what we're talking about. Meanwhile, Diller on Squawk uh, thinks TikTok will be banned. And I don't know if you saw 60 Minutes yeah, last you know, night, but fascinating uh, color on the code they use domestically and then the code they export to look, other Look, I countries. wouldn't shock me. By the way, Reels had a great quarter. No one seemed to notice. And anyone who watches football watch, saw two things this weekend. One, no ads for Ford. Why? Because there's no inventory for Ford. Second, endless ads for WhatsApp. I didn't even know that WhatsApp had a possibility with its $10 billion revenue of being broken out. So I think that those two issues largely found in the NFL. I didn't even talk about Paramount and how that was some big quarter. I was. Wait, no, Warner Brothers Discovery or Paramount? Which? Paramount, they have, they have NFL and CBS. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. yes. Yeah. But I, I do think that you didn't see that WhatsApp was most heavily advertised. And Ford, not having any advertisements, just tell, tells you, well, they don't have any cars and trucks for right. sale. Meanwhile, on the layoff issues, yeah, watch that ad. Like that. You know, it is interesting. A year ago, you had a lot of portfolio managers sort of searching the job sites to see what, what SaaS companies were hiring most aggressively because it was a sign that they felt really good about their business. Right. Just one more data point, and here we are a year later, and it's the reverse. Well, and who's cutting jobs? And by the way, same thing. If you're cutting jobs, maybe you're going to get rewarded well, in the stock market. I mean, you, th this last week was really one of the worst weeks. The cloud was incredible. I mean, Atlassian said they're slowing. Twilio is laying people Friday off. Was a Friday was for a disaster for so many of these, uh, no, no, these they, software as a service Appian, companies. No, no, it was yeah, a, Appian, Atlassian. I mean, the Atlassian they were, quarter was. Uh, uh, Twilio. Twilio was, yep. Twilio was horrible. Was, day. I, I want to be, I, I want to call it t terrible. The, the Atlassian said, look, there's no problems other than the fact that we haven't been able to get as many people to look at our stuff. And then once they're looking at it, we haven't been able to convert them. Otherwise, everything's fine. I mean, you know, the, the, these, these companies are otherworldly because they've never fired anybody. They only know, to, like, hey, listen, we ought to slow down the hire to a trickle because we're not doing well. Elon Musk knows how to fire people. I think the next big layoff. And then some. Yeah, he may not rehire some, but he next, knows how to fire them. I think Alphabet will show you a considerable reduction.
Alphabet. Yeah. Alphabet.